that you all will have your next hearing on September 28th, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, if my math is right. Can you confirm that? I don't know what I can confirm right now. If the committees announce whatever they announce, uh, you know, I'll confirm. Um, we're, we have pretty long meetings today as we're kind of setting down our agenda for the rest of September, for the rest of the year. Uh, That's why we're in D.C. a little bit early. Um, but we're going to, again, do what I think we did very effectively in, earlier in the summer is bring the American people the truth. We have to begin to pivot to writing this report. And really, look, I mean, I... I it's always tough when you're dealing with people that are unwilling to talk to a committee like we've had. DOJ hasn't prosecuted some of these folks. Okay, that's their decision. But there is a point at which, when it comes to the criminality, that's not our role. DOJ has, I think, a pretty fulsome investigation going. Two months ago, I had no clue what was going on. Um, and that's going to be where this baton, so to speak, is handed to, not by us. We may have a criminal referral. I think that's likely. Um, but with their investigation from here out. And uh, look, we've got to hold people to account. If the, if the rule of law says you can attempt a coup as long as you fail, and you won't be held responsible, that is way more dangerous for this country than some, you know, fear of short-term violence or riots in the street. On that